Alrighty, good afternoon, YouTube. Hold on, hopefully you guys can hear me. I mean, probably need to move this stuff to the bottom of my feet. Good afternoon, YouTube, and whatever audience may be listening to this. Uh, Hi, James Zero here, back with another movie review video. Um, this is one of my favorite films, as well as comic book superheroes, even though you guys kind of already know that because of the reviews I did with the animated uh TV series and other animated properties, but uh, this one is Batman Begins. Uh, it stars WoW and it's starting to play. <laughs> uh, it stars um, Christian Bell, Morgan Freeman, Gary Oldman, Michael Kang, Liam Neeson, Katie Holmes, uh, Chillian Murphy, and uh. Due to the circumstances of what's happening, ironically, of what I'm going to say, as of right now, what's happening in the city of Atlanta, um, this one really deals with, uh, and it's the theme of all three, you know, uh, trilogy films done by Christopher Nolan, also written by David S. Goyer, uh, who did the the Blade, who wrote the Blade movies, and uh, I think he wrote Suicide Squad, but back to the ironic circumstance of me making this video right now and what's happening in the city of Atlanta even though I'm in Gwinnett with the whole rioting and protests and injustice but uh what this film really deals with the theme and again I'm gonna talk about all three of them throughout the trilogy uh this one was I think uh yeah the theme of this was more about fear and um if you see the film with Scarecrow's character, how he and he does the the fear uh, toxin uh, gas as a physical as well as the metaphor of Bruce's own fear, of course, with bats and dealing with what happened with his parents and how he was unable to, to do anything. And I think that was the real ultimate, you know, scary fear of Bruce as well as you know, a realistic fear in real life. You know, you see a crime or an injustice and nine times out of 10, you feel like you can't fight back. And like I said, the state of affairs of what's going on right now. And, you know, um, not just with the riots of, uh, of um, I for, forgive me for forgetting his name, but, you know, the, the, uh, the, the black man who was, um, you know, uh, had his neck, you know, um, pressed on and, and he was indirectly choked out by the cops. And this is, has been going on. And again, it, it is an injustice most of the time. And uh, a million of uh, other stories that the social media doesn't even talk about. So, uh, like I said, it's kind of I ironic how now I've, I've decided to, you know, do the do the review on this and what's going on for real, as well as the character of Bruce Wayne. You know, living in Gotham City, and and like I stated before, with the Batman anime series, is based off of Chicago, another known city where a lot of crime runs rampant, and there are a lot of injustices that that go on. Especially to me personally, with drive-by shootings and you know children, innocent people getting killed, most and a good handful of them are children. But um, really, with this movie, it it uh it dealt with a lot of you know good. I wouldn't say, well, slight philosophical or, you know, existentialist really on the human condition and how we built, you know, to me, a two tier justice system in this country in general. And, you know, at a time right now, you know, a character or a guy like Bruce Wayne is definitely needed because, you know, as stated in the next movie, you know, um, Batman doesn't have a jurisdiction yet. If if you escape the the, the, the jurisdiction of law, he, he will find you. He is skilled that way. And like I said, it really blows. Um, and this is one of the reasons why in fictional media, Batman is one of those comic book characters a lot of people love. Because, you know, the good thing is that Superman is more of, you know, what the everyday man strive to be. I believe the flip coin of it is Batman because... He does the dirty and hard work that I believe Superman can't even even grasp or comprehend. You know, not to really bash on Superman that much because I am more of a Batman fan, but I do understand that the character needs to be there, you know, for the moral uh, coil. 
and of course he is an alien technically and what we again what we build as you know human beings is kind of sucks that we don't buy by those rules that we put on ourselves but going back to batman um it's just one of those uh characters why people love him so much because his greatest power is his humanity and how he sets up these rules you know for himself you know as well as um trying to be mentally capable you know, even though you can say the most insane thing about him, and he does dresses up like a bat, and even one of the characters in the book, you know, uh, comic book itself, uh, Hugo Strange, had, had said, you know, a lot of these criminals are really your fault for existing, but, you know, um, I believe it's not true because he dressed up like a bat to fight crime in the first place because of the criminals in Gotham. He just d decided to do it one day. It's that classic comic book trope, you know, his parents got killed difference is, is that it happened you know right in front of him you know or you could say spider-man a little bit too but it happened right in front of him and it was nothing that he could have done about it you know he was only a child trauma traumatized by crime and you know um i dealt and talked to a lot of people who've been in the world of crime at a young age you know it's not something they deal with as an adult it's just something you know that was taken away from them at a young age which was their innocence and they had to grow up very very quickly knowing that you know people like that exist and it is really looking inside themselves are they going to be you know the, sh the the sheep or the wolf and it really does sucks you know really with batman or people like him he, he is a wolf you know as well as the criminals who are wolves until they engage with him they become the sheep so uh you know, um, it's kind of funny watching this movie and, like I said, the circumstances of what's going on right now. It made me look at the film completely or Batman in general in a different way where, you know, the riots and everything are going on. And, you know, I do believe in protest, of course. And, you know, um, I'm not going to go into the whole deep end of me going back and forth for the past two days with people on, on social media about, is a rioting a right thing to do because technically it isn't, you know, it's not going to change anything because we all know in this country, as soon as a riot stop is going to, it's a cycle, the cops are going to do it again. And, you know, it's just the fact that I think in this case, what made it different was that we literally seen someone die on, on film, on, on, on camera. Well, at least that's what the media puts it as come to find out. He actually died when they put him in a, at the police station. He was, I'm, I believe that he was suffering some kind of, you know, hemorrhage or something going on medically because then they started to beat him when they put him in a car. Then he died when it, when he got, when they got to the station. You know, all we see is the cop, you know, kneeing him over his neck. And then from another photo, it's about three or four cops. And then the list goes on and on. But the real reason why the riots are actually happening massively, like more than nine major cities right now, is because it's been building up to this of so many cops and 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 people who clearly have done a crime, and they're getting off, you know, on these bullshit, you know, technicalities. And I'm tired of it, you know. I really am, you know, because to me, the justice system has failed and. At the same time, you can look at this other statistic of certain groups of people who do the same crime, but one person gets a lighter sentence than the other one. And you can throw race into that into that factor. You can also throw in economic status, who can buy off who into someone getting a lighter, you know, sentence or not serving a sentence at all, you know, or, you know, um, going out and leaving during the day, then coming to jail at night, pretty much like a hotel situation. I don't know the terminology of it, but, uh, you know, um, it's kind of funny with these films and movies. And I probably said this before, how, you know, uh, certain ones where they are picked out or they, they are created and written and they have a lot more relevance, you know, much later on. It's nine times out of 10, of course, you know, if it, piece some you know people are skilled and they write it or the timing is just you know right when something does happen in the real world and then this comes out you know it does have moments like that but 
you know, when 90% of, of, you know, the, the piece of, of work comes to light, it's just, is is just like mind blowing. Um, at least to me, because, you know, uh, it just throws out, you know, someone sat down and said, what if this was the possibility and then it happens. So, you know, um, but, you know, of course, Batman isn't the only form of media. You know, there's a whole ton bunch where they, they talk about that that kind of thing anyway. Um, besides that, another, you know, different light of politics on the whole thing. Um, I think most of this book, I mean, most of this book, most of this movie re- revolved around um, Batman year one, I believe. And there was a few other, of course, um, Batman comics. I know when we get to the sequels, there were definitely other Batman, you know, comics where, you know, the the films had an influence on and as as well as other film, too. I, I believe uh, Nolan said the Bond films, um, they went back and forth on, on, you know, the influence. I know definitely with uh, The Dark Knight, that and Skyfall had a lot of influence, you know, on each other. And then there was a few other films as well. So I had I really couldn't think of any, you know, James Bond was only one that came to mind because analyzing it, it did, it, you know, it, it's not really the same story. It's just the same elements. It just pro- approached differently. And like I said, that's the that's the very nature skill of good writing to me. Um, uh, another good note, everyone was well casted in this film. Uh Hans Zimmerman also did a good job with the music. It definitely stood out and to me with his work with the music and the Dark Knight Rises. I even had the soundtrack, you know, I listen to it every other day. And Hans Zimmer is a very, very good composer. I put him up there next to John Williams and Danny Elfman and um, Don Davis. And there's a few others. Uh, can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but um, going back uh, to the cast, uh, everyone was well cast as it just sucks to me that Katie Holmes didn't sign on for the sequel, even though Maggie Gyllenhaal did a very good job. You know, I really wish to me, you know, I wish he did come back for, you know, the second movie and, and they could have still used Maggie for something else. Um, and to me, I, uh, a lot of the characters really in a way seem a little bit more drawn from the comic a little bit. Of course, we can have the, the the debate about you know the the ethnicity of um of uh of the villains, especially uh, Ra's al Ghul, and I think with Bane in Dark Knight Rises, we'll talk about that later. But Liam Neeson, um, he did a very good job as playing you know the 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 swapping identity, oh, excuse me, and playing the villain, um. Raz al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, you know, he was very menacing and threatening. And I think um, and he was very calm and collective. I, that's the additional good reason why, you know, Nolan had picked him. And um, another good side note, throughout the trilogy, I'm glad that they chose some of the villains. They, they were very smart at what particular villains to use. Uh, in my opinion, they made a fourth movie. I know the Riddler would have been in here, and um, in my opinion, Hush should have been in there, both of them at the same time. Uh, you can write in, in between those dots, but I might talk about that later with The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, so um, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm really going to leave it up to you guys in the comment box what you want to say about this. If you And again, keep it civil. Don't try to, you know... Of course, come at each other. You can come at me all you want to with any BS trolling that you want. You know, I I can take it. But for my context of the audience or whoever may watch, be civil to them. Um, Anyway, that's all I have to say. Again, you know, let's talk about in the comment box. And good evening, guys. And take care of yourself wherever you may be. Uh, Very, very scary times. Um... And I'm concerned about the people who don't deserve to get hurt. So uh, talk to you guys later and peace out.